Welcome back, basement dwellers. We wanted to give you some actual good screen capture video of Pokemon Go since people seem to not be able to do that, really. Yeah, and I haven't found any of it yet. So we're gonna hopefully answer some how-tos and some basic stuff about Pokemon Go in this video. So here we Pokemon Go. All right. So Peter, this is Pokemon Go. You're driving. Uh-huh. I am safely in the passenger seat. Correct. Manning my phone. Please be careful when you Pokemon Go. Yes, uh, it Do is not... dangerous to Pokemon Go alone. <laughs> That's true. That's right, Ted. That's why we're here together. Not and Technically, we're not in the basement, but we're in the basement in spirit. So right now, we're pulling up to the church that is in the backyard of Peter's house, which it happens to be a Poke Stop. This is so, the church closest to the basement. So uh, we are, uh, yep, so this is Holy Trinity Church, which happens to give us Pokeballs. <laughs> yeah, That's what churches are for. <laughs> um, oh, hey, a Pidgey. Uh, let's catch him. Done. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so here we he's are. He's on the dashboard of the car. Yep. <laughs> and you just, you flick, you just kind of use your finger, you flick forward, and bam, you caught him. Hopefully. We'll see what happens yeah, if he escapes. Because he can get out, right? Yep. I mean, he could be like, Ugh! 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 Oh. but Pidgeys are kind of wimpy, and he had a low CP, which is combat power, I think. Um, so you can keep the Pokemon, you can transfer the Pokemon. I'm going to transfer the Pokemon because I already have one of these. What does that mean to transfer them? Is it means you trade them in for one extra piece of candy. So the candy is what you feed the Pokemon to like evolve them and like okay. make them stronger. Okay. It's a little different from the original Pokemon game in where you battle your Pokemon to make them stronger. In this game, it's more about catching the Pokemon. So that's what gets you your rewards. Okay, so here at uh, United Methodist Church, there's two Rattatas. Um, just cropped up. Now, these guys are super common, right? Oh, yeah, they're all over the place. This one's got a CP of 65, so he's not super duper weak. But he's, he's cute. A little cutie, just chilling on the dashboard of the car. Purple whiskers. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know it. <laughs> okay, um, now I saw uh, out of the corner of my eye up ahead, I think there's something. So, um, after I kind of take care of this guy, I definitely have enough Rattatas. I can trade him in for an extra piece of candy. So, you get... Three pieces of candy, I think, for every Pokemon you catch for that specific Pokemon. And you can use that candy on that Pokemon and all of its evolutionary stages. Um, How many evolutionary stages does a Pokemon have? Some of them have uh, only one evolution. Some of them have two. Some have three. I think some even have four. There's a Pokemon called Eevee, which uh, has like three different evolutions you can turn actually right there at the top of that gym is being represented by blue team which is my team team mystic mystic blue yeah um that's a uh, flareon which is the flame evolution of eevee is but that you the first get, one um uh, it's a it it kind of branches off into three different ones so they don't have pokemon. to go in the same order they always do except for that one pokemon oh wow so that was the one weird exception that was kind of like a strange coincidence i have so much to learn so this is a gym that hasn't been claimed yet um, it's just white. So if you see a white one, it's a free gym. Put your strongest Pokemon at that gym right now. Um, I think it's my Raticate. So if you put your Pokemon there, you get him back if he gets kicked out of the gym, but he will be injured. So you put him there and then boom, the gym is claimed for your team. And they defend it in case somebody and that Pokemon tries to defends attack it. it. So hopefully I'll be able to keep this gym for, you know, a certain amount of time. Now I haven't done this before. I just, you know, I'm winging it. But apparently that's how you do it, guys. You just you click on it. There's a little button down in the bottom right-hand corner. You click on that, and that's how you claim a gym. Now, I'm assuming that if you're going to battle, you got to do basically the same thing, except it'll probably do some sort of battle scenario. Right. Because so, uh, you can take a gym that somebody else has already claimed if you are strong enough to, like, boot them out. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yep, and that's how it works. Now, there's another one up there that isn't claimed, but uh, I want to go somewhere else and show some other stuff that we can do. Ooh, Eevee! Ooh, this is the one you were telling me about that yeah. always evolves in the same order. No, this one evolves is different. This it's, is the one that branches. Yeah, this is the one that branches into different weird things. But Everybody else evolves in one order, basically. Did you get him on the first shot? Yep. Didn't even have to try. Yeah. High five. Know. Good yeah. job. I'm so good at this game, you guys. It's not really that hard. But uh, it can be, though, if you don't pay attention to where you're going. Um, I almost ran into a door today. <laughs> I, almost ran, I almost tripped on myself. I almost tripped on my son. <laughs> uh which one i ooh, i i don't recommend trying to have an intense romantic conversation with your wife whilst playing mm. that's that can that can be dangerous emotionally to you <laughs> um but it's uh you know it's generally easy enough to do all those things at the same time <laughs> 
tripping over your kids, you know, running indoors. Uh, you can handle it. So if you see there, see the little swirly pink things around that Pokestop up there? Yes. We're going to pull up over there, Peter, okay? So... All right. Uh, put Here we go. Anchor on. We're going to turn right. Um, <laughs> I like how you're making sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's called a module, and I'm pretty sure you can only buy them, but I think you can earn them too certain ways. What that does is it attracts all the Pokemon in that area to that Pokestop. So people are more likely to be gathering there. So I'm sure we're going to be seeing some people going in and out. While you're driving, I'm going to just get these Pokestops that are on the way, collect some Pokeballs. I got to revive. I haven't had to use one of those yet. So I don't know. Maybe we'll try to do that in this video. But It's good um, to stock up on stuff, anyway, though, because you're going to need them at some point. Yeah, so we're going slowly on this road. Ooh, there's Pokemon there already. There's a Pidgey, uh, a Pidgey looks like. Yep, Pokestops. Now, you mentioned being able to buy stuff. Can you play this game for free, though? Yeah, like, I'm playing it for free right now. I haven't paid a single cent for it. The app is free. And you can do almost everything or basically everything in the game as long as you work for it without having to actually yes. pay real money. Now, the thing is, it's like Candy Crush, right? Like, they pro I'm sure they've thought through how to get you so... Like, everybody right now, everybody's playing it. Yeah, you get wrapped it's up gonna in it. It's going to get to a point, I'm guessing in a couple weeks, people are going to start paying lots of money for yeah, it. Yeah, because <laughs> eventually it'll be like, it's so much work. Okay, I'm going to try Curveball. Yes! It and worked! Like, the time and effort isn't worth the five, the four ninety nine you could pay to just take a shortcut and get a bunch of extra Yeah, like, I could spend five bucks right now and just, like, have superly overpowered Pokemon, but I like to work for my for my stuff, you know? I don't, I don't like these pay-to-play things. I, I, always, I always overwork. Um, so here we go. This is Elk River Lutheran Church. It is not snowing outside right now, but that's the picture, apparently, that has been attributed with this yeah, throw particular Pokestop. It's the middle of summer. It's also nighttime. So uh, Nintendo's been working on this it. for some time, apparently. Really? All these winter well, I don't know. I mean, these oh. winter pictures. Do you think? <laughs> well, I that like, how did they them? how did they find all these things? Was it just like Google Maps? Did they have a uh, did they have like an account like well, some kind of agreement with them saying like, hey, can we use all of your things? I'm I found guessing it a, a Kakuna, by the way. Oh, weird. Yeah. So Weedle evolves into Kakuna, evolves into Beedrill. I have lots of Weedles. Kakuna, I have I have, a, I have Kakunas already. But I'm I'm gonna catch it. So here's here's a little thing. Kakuna Matata. What a wonderful Pokemon. <laughs> wow. Um anyway. <laughs> you can tell one of us knows a lot more about Pokemon than the other. I was so huge into Pokemon, like, oh man, I, I got it like a month after it came out because I was a poor child. But Aww. well, I mean I had to buy it with my own money and I was like ten. So Oh, oh you poor took, child. <laughs> Poor child. Poor child. Hey, everybody. That's going to do it for our video today. Uh, we got some more Pokemon Go footage coming very soon. Keep an eye on the channel. And if this is something you guys are interested in seeing more of, just let us know. We're happy to do it. Uh, we can keep going. Otherwise, we'll move on to other games and, uh, you know, do our usual thing right here in the, the basement. basement.